Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I have another layout using the Planetarium May Kit from Studio Calico and I have a whole bunch of scraps that I want to start using so I got a new stamp set a few hauls ago and it's called Trendy Triangles from My Favorite Things and I also got the die that goes with it. So I'm going to take out my VersaFine ink and I'm going to stamp a whole bunch of different triangles using different pattern papers and then I'm going to take my triangle die and my cuddle bug and I'm going to cut them out and then I'm just going to also do some regular triangles with no stamping in the middle and just cut out some different pattern papers also and the photo uh, I'm going to scrapbook today is a picture of my son and it was on our last vacation in Quebec and as soon as we got there we drove by to where our cabin was going to be and they spotted this huge rock and we weren't there you know 15 minutes and they were already climbing that rock and, and going to the, the top of the rock and so I, I'm just gonna scrapbook about that and now I'm going to start die cutting all the different triangles and that tape that I'm using it's actually called post-it tape and that's why I got it was just so that when I do those small dies I can just glue down the dies and not have to worry about it moving so I actually once when I put the dies away I actually put the tape with it and instead of you know throwing the tape out or you know trying to keep it for another piece I just figured I would just keep it with it and next time I use it the tape will already be with that die so there's three little dots on each one of those little triangles so it makes it somewhat easy to line up the stamping with the die and some of them are a little crooked but I'm okay with that I don't it doesn't bother me so this is layout uh, 11 out of so it's the 11th layout using the planetarium kit and it took me an hour and about 30 minutes to complete and it took me a few minutes to get all these triangles all you know cut out and but it wasn't too too bad I'd say altogether it was probably 20 minutes or so before I got you know everything stamped out and then and then using the triangles and then I wanted some that were just plain so then I just took the rest of the pattern paper and and just cut a few out and I have to say it doesn't I mean it doesn't use up a lot of papers because those triangles aren't that big but it, it's it's a good way to you know use up some scraps so now I'm done with that die cut or the dies and I'm going to put them away and like I said I put the post-it notes with it so then it's totally with it and I don't have to worry about it next time it'll just be there so now I'm just gonna choose which photo I'm gonna scrapbook and I'm gonna take just I thought at first I would use two but then I decide to just use one and it's of my son at the very top of the rock and I knew I wanted to mat it in that chevron paper but it wasn't long enough but then I figured that I would just cover the bottom anyway so it didn't didn't bother me that it was the branding strip at the bottom and then I'm looking for something else that I can mat this photo in I'm going through all my scraps I don't want to cut in into any new sheets I just want to use up some scraps I'm trying to figure out what else I could do with those stamps but I don't end up using any more stamps on the layout at first I kind of do I thought I was going to do like a, a border and then real quick here I'm going to change my mind and I'm going to make it so it's like a mountain like a, a hill so every I'm going to make a triangle with the triangles I guess is what I'm trying to say so I'm going to make three clusters 
with the triangles. And I'm just trying to mix up the stamp ones with the regular ones just so that there is some kind of difference in between all the, the triangles. And then this is the part where I kind of didn't know what else I wanted to do. So I'm going to take out this chevron and I'm going to cut it up, which I take all the time to do this and I don't end up using, using it. It's going to stay there for a bit, but um, I did part of this, well, the whole layout, I did it in the morning after a night shift but the first part and I worked on it for 50 some minutes and then my brain was just was just mush so I just went to bed and then the next morning I finished it and then kind of sitting on it for 24 hours I guess and when I came back I didn't like that chevron at all so I get rid of it almost right away when I start this the second day I just found there was just too many different shapes because I'm going, I got the triangles and then I'm going to take that star paper and I'm going to put it in the background and then I had, you know, a couple of different chevrons and I just found it was too different. So I'm going to end up getting rid of that chevron. So I'm just going to cut the Brandon strip off of that. And I think that's the last piece of the first sheet anyway. Or no, that's the second sheet of that paper. I just love that paper. On the other side is um, Love You to the Stars and Back. And I believe I'm on my second sheet, so I'm almost out of that paper. So I'm going to keep looking through my scraps and see what else I can do. And I'm going to find two little scraps of Love You to the Stars and Back, and I'm going to put it on either side of the photo. And that right there must be the last piece that I have of that paper. And I'm going to put that on either side. And then I'm going to look and I'm going to stare and I'm going to look at the paper and I'm looking at different um, washi tape, which I will add later on. And it just wasn't coming to me. So I figured, you know, just leave it, go to bed, come back another day. So this is layout 104 or scrapbooking process 104. So I'm hoping this afternoon, uh, probably not this afternoon, I have one, two more night shifts. This is Thursday. So I have an overtime shift tonight and I have tomorrow night and then I have Saturday off. So Saturday, I'll try to upload the video with the prize and the contest for reaching a hundred scrapbooking process processing videos and a thousand subbies and everything came in so now I can do the video showing everything what's in the prize and then what the rules are going to be so hopefully um, watch for that I will try my hardest to upload that on Saturday so that it'll be the 10th the 10th of August and I'll have I'll leave it open for a month to make sure that everybody has a chance to to participate and this is where I was just looking at the page and there was just nothing coming I should have just cut this out and also to let you know I started a new Facebook group and it's Nicole Jones no, <laughs> Nicole Jones 911 and I'm going to put it in the description and if you want to see some still pictures you can go to two peas in a bucket or studio calico and go in the members gallery and look for nicole jones 911 and i post some still pictures there too so one of 
the things that was the challenge on my Facebook this month was to use your die cut machines, whether it is a manual die cut or your silhouette or your Cricut. So this is why I pulled out my dime or not diamond, triangle die cuts or dies and I want to use them. So now this is the next day and I have a little bit more of an idea of where I want to go with this page. So I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to glue all those triangle triangles down because as they're moving around, it makes it quite distracting. And that's one of the things that I know for sure that's what I want. So I'm just going to glue them down. And I find as long as I don't commit to something, I can move stuff around forever and a day and it just doesn't get done. So if, if I start committing and gluing, then the page comes together. So while I was, you know, at work and stuff, I was thinking that I remember this template that I had that I had never used. So I thought I would use it because it has triangles on it and kind of, um, you know, bigger triangles and smaller triangles. So it kind of goes with this page. And I took up my Navy ink hero arts and I just used a sponge and I just inked the page. And at this point I only had, I only inked it in two spots, but I'm, I'm going to end up inking it in three spots. So I tried that Chevron paper without cutting out the chevron and I didn't like it. Then I took out this circle paper and I liked it, but again, I was like, oh, it's introducing one more shape. So I'm going to end up taking that away. And I cut two pieces of that triangle yellow paper and that worked out good because there's triangles on it. And I put it at the top and the bottom of the page. And then I remembered those labels that we had got in this month's kit and it was the navy color. So I took out a few of those and a little flag because usually, you know, when someone reaches the top of the mountain or, you know, they, they stake a, a flag at the top of the mountain. So I thought I do that to represent that. And then there was a, one of the branding strips and it was yellow so it matched perfectly and it just says love you more and then I took out my favorite paper from Ellie Studio and I cut a strip for to hide that bottom of the photo where the branding strip was and I really like that because it looks like little asterisks or little stars so I wasn't introducing another shape it was still just one shape that was already on the page and then I started looking through all my die cuts and seeing, taking out anything that was yellow or blue to add to the page. And I just took out a whole bunch of stuff and now I'm ready to glue everything down. And I'm going to glue all the layers and I had kind of glued the picture down too low. So I lifted it and moved it up a bit. And now I'm going to glue down that strip. And then I glued the whole thing to the to the page. And now I'm going to add some washi tape and it is a chevron one which was from um, I believe that was in my mind's eye. It was uh, one of those collections that you can buy. And the other one is oh which one is it? It's the smile one. And I can't remember who makes it, but it came in a kit and I really loved it. And I actually had bought that washi tape myself too, but I, I decided to keep both rolls because I'm almost done one roll already. And now I'm going to start gluing down all the different layers. And I even took out a flare button that was in this month's kit and it just says cool. And then I took out my mind's eye. There's little word stickers that came in a last kit or the one before. And I just took out little little words um, just to put throughout the, the page. And one of them says wonderful, funny, and boy. And it's just, you know, kind of adjectives about 
how his personality and and then I took out that aqua twine that I love so much and I just balled it up and put it in three spots and I'm going to glue it down with my quick dry adhesive and then I'm taking out those letters that I love so much from October afternoon and they are called honey and they're sticky keys and now I'm looking for other letters that I might like and I took out another one of October afternoon letters and at first I think I'm going to use the letters that came in this month's kit but it didn't really coordinate that well so I went for my American craft letters and I used the light blue and then I'm going to spell mountain with with my sticky keys so the title of the page is just king of the mountain and I'm going to put it right there underneath the photo and it kind of touches that bottom cluster so then that becomes one cluster and then I have two more clusters and I I kind of like to do that I like to make it so that my title is part of a cluster and then it just makes it so that there's three clusters usually on the page and not you know three or four or five so now everything is the way I like it so I'm going to add three colors of glimmer glaze two different shades of blue and a shade of yellow and now I'm going to show you some close-ups of the page and I'm going to do it in really slow motion so you can really see um, the different clusters um, I thought I'd try this out and see how this works out because the other way it just kind of zooms by and it's really hard to see the different clusters so now you're getting a good look at each cluster and then after this I'm going to show you a few still pictures of the layout and that's it the page is done so thanks for watching bye